if you break, when removing a healthy branch from a vine bush or tree, if you break a branch off, go out and get a switch, and break mm -hmm. some layers, and I used to, at my mother's house, I would go and start breaking branches off, so that way they don't fall, and then throw them away, so that way I wouldn't have a switch on the bush when she told me to go get a switch. And mm -hmm. she, or, or I had a toy sword that I'd go and beat the mess out the bush. She know, uh -huh. but when you break it off, <laughs> if you look, there's a raw spot. You ever broke a branch off a tree or broke yeah. off a vine, there's a raw spot. Sometimes water comes out of that raw spot. Yeah. That's because there's no separation between the substance of the vine and the substance of the branch. Mm -hmm. So when we break this off, we see a raw spot because there's no barrier between them. The substance of the mm -hmm. vine is connected to the substance of the branch. It's one enmeshed unit. Uh -huh. Thus the sustenance of the vine, the, 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 the nourishment, of the vine and of the tree flows through the substance of the branch and there's no boundary between the two mm -hmm. resulting in fruit that's a manifestation of what's in the in the vine mm -hmm. so when we talk about being fruitful and being empowered to be fruitful our ability to be productive comes is yielded by our connectivity to God mm -hmm. it's not a matter of Mm -hmm. Let me, not only does it not take effort on the part of the branch to bear fruit, the only, the only thing required of a branch to bear fruit is that it remain connected to the vine. That's all. That's it. Mm -hmm. If I'm connected, I'm going to bear fruit. If I'm not bearing fruit, there's a problem. In staying connected to the vine, the branch can draw from the sustenance of the vine, which is what it's naturally designed to do. There is neither limitation nor restriction on what can be drawn from the vine as there is no separation between the substance of the vine and the substance of the branch. I want you to get this, that, 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 that there's, no, there's no separation, there's no differentiation when you're connected. The same stuff that's in the vine is what's in the branch. Mm -hmm. If you look, they look the same. If you put them under a microscope, you're going to see the same types of cells. Christ says, I'm the vine, everybody else are the branches. The, connection, the, the, the degree of intimacy that we can have with God and the connection that we can have through Christ is analogous to the vine and the branches. And so whatever, whatever the branch needs, it can draw from the vine. Whatever the, but the only, the only things that the branch needs are the things that will allow it to produce fruit mm -hmm. because that's what it's designed to do. So, within that context of the vine, of the branch needing and pulling and drawing from the vine, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, then you can ask what you will and it will be given to you. Mm -hmm. Because we're talking about being fruitful in life, both in character and in experience. That my connection to God allows me to be fruitful, allows me to be productive, allows that which is naturally in me. And there is something naturally in every single person that they can prosper, that they can flourish at, that they can enjoy, that they can, that they can do with passion and excitement, that can be a blessing to somebody else. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm out of time. I gotta, I'm not going to get through all this. So I'm going to just talk. One second. Fruit. Okay. Fruit is designed to be eaten by somebody else. Right. So I can produce something that can be a blessing to somebody that makes me fulfilled because I'm doing what I was designed to do mm -hmm. and can help somebody else. And what they get that comes out of me naturally is a manifestation of what I've gotten from God. So what they taste and what they see, what they experience in dealing with me as I am a blessing to them, what they get is helps them see who God is. Mm -hmm and the relationship that I have with God, which gets back to being a witness. 